What's up, YouTube land? This your boy Cap Nature coming to you with another. It's not a reaction. This is a uh, a statement. We gonna talk about the infamous situation that happened on Breakfast Club, starring drum roll, please. Y'all know what it is. Flame Monroe. If you don't know who Flame Monroe is, uh, she was a comedian. She was out with the Comic View. You know, she was uh, she's old school. You know what I'm saying? Uh, obviously, you know that she's trans and she's a comedian and she's black and the list goes on and on. However, she uh, have come out and said that Monique was the reason why she had been blackballed. Uh, from doing shows and, you know, knocking money out of pocket. You know, Monique has not responded to the accusation yet, but that's what she has put out there. However, that is not why I'm making a video. The reason I'm making this video is because of the problematic things that uh, Flame Row has said in this Breakfast Club interview that aired oh, about, the, about a week ago, okay? So... I'm going to give you the back history of Flame Moreau, and then we're going to jump into the topic. So, Flame Moreau came back on the scene with Tiffany Haddish. Her and uh, three other comedians uh, were did a, a comedy special on Netflix. And on Netflix, you know, she talked about everything. Uh, she talks about her kids. She talked about being... Uh, to be honest, I don't know what she classifies as. She says she classifies as transgender. She classified was classified as a cross dresser, drug I mean drag queen. She was just she's all over the place. She still um still go by her original name, which is Marcus. So, you know, she has been seen on T S Madison, uh Queen Court. I mean, she's doing a lot of things. Kudos to her. She's getting that bag. But when she went on Breakfast Club, it set the transgender community back by tenfold. Like, everything that all these women from Janet Mock, um, uh, Laverne Cox, um, I mean, the list goes on of people that has put themselves on the forefront front of the fight for transgender equality has been pushed back tenfold just by her simply sitting down with breakfast club and making the trans the problematic statements that she made on the breakfast club first thing i want to talk about is the word transgender transgender is a adjective it, it describes what a person is that person is going through a journey in their life to make their out appearance reflect what their mind is telling them that they are so she said to uh, Charlotte Maine that I go by he, she, and we. He books the gig, she make the money, and we are what you get. We. So, of course, Charlotte Maine was like, huh? So then she said that all transgender women are men dressed in drag point blank. And the reason I say she said that is because she said that the men like uh, Malik and uh, all the people that advocate for transgender women she said that they only go with the transgender women because of what they have down below. Which is problematic. It That is so untrue to the fact that it, it put a target on all the transgender women that see themselves as a woman. Not a girl. It's a difference. And the difference is this. That genetically a girl has a, has a menstrual cycle. She wants to have kids. That does not make her a woman. It's a difference. And it's hard to explain to people when you have people like Flame Moreau go on to major platforms such as Charlemagne the Breakfast Club and and air out these problematic issues and uneducate the the masses on them already been educated educated on. Okay? So 
Flame Row goes on and she, you know, she make a mockery of um, the, the ladies that came on to the show earlier that, that about a month ago, that came on with Malik and, you know, they were talking about the advocacy and the march on Washington that they did a couple of months ago. Uh, they talk about uh, uh, being trans exclusive and being attractive to trans and, you know, try to educate from their viewpoint. She came on the show and she demolished everything that was said on their platform and made them uh, as a um, just something to mock on. When there are transgender women dying by the dozens every day, every day they'll find a body of a transgender woman being killed by a male, cisgender male that was embarrassed by saying that he was intimate or was sexually attracted to this transgender woman. Okay, so she keep on baffling. She keep on going on. She keep on going on. Um, then she goes on to say that there's two genders in the world. Your gender is defined. Now, this is a woman that says she's transgender. That says that your gender is defined by what you have in your pants. Now, what makes that problematic for me with Charlemagne is that the fact that Charlemagne did an interview with not only her, not only uh, Janet Mock, but he also did an interview with uh, Teak Milan. Teak Milan went on his show called Uncommon Sense, episode 2.7. I can't find the episode, but he actually asked Teak Milan verbatim, what do you have? Do you have a penis? And Teak Milan educated him and said your penis do not make you a man your mentality does and the reason why Tik Milan said that is because for example you have cisgender men that has went to war that has come back and has had uh, casualty as far as being wounded in that pelvic area that has 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 resulted in them losing their their penis. Do they do are they a man? Yes. Your penis do not make you a man. Your mind frame does. And the fact that she went on and said that I wear my clothes um two time being what they are so that my kids can feel comfortable when I take them to school makes me be, makes me know that she's not uncomfortable in her own skin. So why not go on a platform and bash the very same people that I manip I I appear to be in the heterosex heterosexual world to make a dollar to pay to provide for my three kids to give them the life that I never had. Her and T.S. Madison also did a, uh, a court a court show. And T.S. Madison, you can tell by her demeanor that she was getting upset that she couldn't believe that the person that she invited on her channel was speaking for the masses, saying that everyone think this way when it's not the case. T.S. Madison was like, I, am, I, I go by she. I am a female. I see myself as a female and has said it several times over to her platform that I look like my mom. I I look like this because what I want to look like is my mom. People want to say, oh, she, she said that her body is her brand. Yes, her body is her brand. Just like Naomi Campbell, uh, all the models, that model, their body is their brand. And that's what she meant when she said my body is my brand. However, in the transgender world, people believe that you have to have your, your, your breast removed or you have to have your bottom removed to be classified transgender. Some transgender people never go on hormones. Some transgender people never have surgery. Some transgender, transgender people never go on um, go on medication to do any kind of physical feature re changing. But what makes this problematic for the transgender woman in particular is that you have a woman that has this platform as Flame Row who's going on these major uh, radio stations and TV shows and, and the list goes on and on and making a mockery 
of these women that have the people that already feel like they're men dressed in dresses. She's confirming what they're saying. And you have people like uh, people in the girl in Dallas that got killed. I mean, the list go on and on of females, every transgender women every day that I see are dying in, in the fear of their life because of problematic things like this that has been put out on behalf of them. Oh, all of us are this way. Oh, all of, all transgender people are not the same. So, in my opinion, Flame Monroe. Flame Monroe is a cross dresser that is clout chasing on being transgender just to be out there in the limelight because of transgender people getting killed and right now transgender people are being blamed for you know stealing black black girls and kids for their uterus. They've been blamed for all the bathroom law. They've been blamed for kidnapping kids. But no one's speaking of the actual people that are actually doing it. So of course she's gonna take all that 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 spotlight and she's gonna jump in and say, I'm a transgender. It's Cause to me she's on a drag queen that got some some titties implants and living her life because when she said when the lights goes out she take that wig off and she live her life as Marcus. A transgender woman when the lights go off she just she still live as that woman. She does not convert back to being the male of what she was. She lives her life as a woman 24-7, 365 days a week. I mean 365 days a year. She lives her life as a woman, not as a transgender man. I mean, as a man who, and when she leaves the house, she want to put on her hair makeup and go out there and live another life. She lives one life. And Flame Moreau did not, I think that she just set them back tenfold. She's all the work that Janet Mock did. Even Janet Mock went going on Breakfast Club and... And inform, you know, and, and educate Charlemagne, not once, but two people has educated Charlemagne on what it is to be transgender, who is transgender, why they go through this, and what we're fighting for. Transgender people cannot get no housing, they can't get a job, they getting fired left to right, they getting killed left to right, and then you go on your platform, Charlemagne and, and DJ M and and um and, and, and the girl that Gucci man called the whole yeah, huh. Y'all go on y'all platform and bring somebody that's problematic to go back and, and erase everything that you have learned on your platform just to get ratings because she is in the spotlight for what she's what she's doing now with Netflix. If Netflix Netflix wouldn't have never did this deal with Tiffany Hattis if uh transgender people were not in the spotlight. They would have never gave her the chance in but because the it's clout chasing right now, everybody gotta get their own transgender person on, you know, this channel and this and this and that and that. We it's the heat wave. We all gotta get a piece of the transgender wave. Just because of that we trying to make everybody feel like they equal and we all involved. We all equal. But we're not. You don't see gay people on TV a lot. You don't see trans people on TV a lot. The only thing you see every day when you come on the TV is is a heterosexual man and women living their life. And that's what, you know, transgender people want to be. Transgender people want to be straight, straight, gay, bi, trans, on trans, lesbian. It, it, it's, it's, it's a whole platform. But... The whole thing is this, that when you go on a platform as massive as the Breakfast Club, you have to go in there with attention to educate the masses. Because you don't go in there to educate the masses, guess what's going to happen? You're going to be the reason another transgender person, a particular a, um, M to F, end up in a body bag on somebody cold steel, um morgue because of what the society believe that they are. You going to be the reason why the number of killings are going to increase each and every day because they're going to take what you said and run with it. I mean, run with it to they can't run with it to I mean, I mean, it is dangerous. People don't realize how dangerous that is. But that's how problematic that is. That's like saying that all all gays have AIDS. That someone goes on this platform and say all gays have AIDS. 
are all black people that 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 all black people that play sports are uneducated. Giving someone a platform and allowing them to spew, to speak out the negative things that she done in less than I don't even remember how long the damn interview was. It was just so, it was so, it was so disrespectful and just so. And then why the why Charlemagne stood there and laugh about the situation like. People don't realize, and then the crazy part about it is the transgender women that are getting killed are black. I mean, they doing, they dying in the masses. Like every day, I see somebody dead. Every day, I see somebody dead. Somebody got killed. I, I mean, every day. And the crazy part about it, they are black before they were trans, and they dying by the hands of other black men. Who was sleeping with them. And because your homeboy found out you were sleeping with her. You kill her. Instead of stand up and be a man. And say yes I was trans. I was trans attractive. To this woman. Who I saw as a woman. But. But. Uh, Flame and Rowe went right back behind it. And said. Oh because she looked like a woman. But don't make her a woman. Because she has a penis. But Everybody. Everybody don't see that way, Flame. Everybody don't 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 think that way, Flame. And because you set in your ways, and because you have the the money that you can live your luxury lifestyle or whatever you live in, does not make you think for that young lady who just started to see herself and what she saw herself her truth. And now she gotta be scared to walk out her front door because people out there watching her. And paying her some attention and, and saying what she is and what she isn't. And every day she got living fear because of the the shit you just you just put out there for the people to believe that all the people that are transgender are this way. That's sad. Whew, y'all, that's a lot for me to say. Don't forget to subscribe, y'all. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be jumping in and out sometime between my reviews to talk about issues like this. Because at the end of the day, transgender or not, they are just we we all are just human. And at the end of the day, no one should be able to take someone's life based on how someone is living their life. And people like Flame Monroe and Caitlyn Jenner, they don't have to live in fear. They can or they have a they have the luxury of, of, of hiring bodyguards to protect them. But the average old female that's transitioning from male to female don't have that luxury. They don't have that luxury. You know, then she's going on here talking about she like to sleep with studs and and I mean that's that's confusing as hell. But she didn't deliver it right to the masses. You know what I'm saying? So if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and thumbs up this video. Let's talk about it. I'm going to say again. If I see you come in my comment and you try to do any kind of bashing, I'm going to delete you and block you. Or I might cut the comments off on this video. Because as, a, as adults, we should be able to talk about this in civilized adult manner and disagree or degree. But what you won't do is come on here and talk shit about nobody on my platform. Because we are one over here. One nation. So till next time. I'm AJ. And I'm out of this thing. Peace.